Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome back to the end of the year. We are December 30th today, end of 2022. And uh, I love this time of year. It's a, a lot of thought process about new beginnings and plans that we want to make with each other and resolutions for the new year. So HOA and I wish you all a very, very happy new year with lots of good health and happiness and prosperity and laughter and love always and always liked. So let's get started. Uh, I'm going to be playing with that wildflower technique that I have been enjoying so much. Um, we did the 36 by 36 big gigantic one called Wildflower Bouquet uh, right on Christmas and that was a lot of fun. Um, today I want to play with a little bit of a different variation. Um, the last one we did was on a white base coat. Today I want to use a darker color. I want to use this beautiful obsidian as my base coat. And to that end, I'm using a color palette that I'm hoping is gonna really pop against the obsidian. So let's get started. This is a 24 by 24 inch gallery wrapped canvas from Artist Loft. I have painted my sides and edges with the obsidian and I have taped and pinned the back. So this is ready to go. That's a 24 by 24. The first color we're using is this beautiful treasure gold from Folk Art, their treasure gold series in blue quartz. And tonight I'm using mixed pour as my pouring medium. Beautiful. Nice and thick, but then sinking into itself pretty quickly. And I have added a little bit of water to these. Okay, so that's our blue quartz. And then we are using Golden's Payne's Gray. Don't you guys know how much I love this color? Gorgeous. See, looking at this one makes me think that one is just a smidge thick. You can see how fast that sinks into itself. Okay, then we are using our DecoArt Americana Decor Metallics in 24 karat gold. Okay, and then I have Golden's Prussian Blue, which I absolutely love. <laughs> Probably one of my favorites of all time. Okay, and then we also have Amsterdam Titanium White. So because we're using the obsidian base coat, instead of putting my Prussian and my Payne's Gray on the outer chambers so they show up more, I'm going to actually put those two on the center chambers and the outer chamber is going to get that blue quartz and the white and then we're going to layer the white and the gold in the center chamber. So let's get started. I'm going to put that blue quartz in the outside chamber because I want that to be more prominent. I think it's going to really look beautiful popping against that obsidian. And then we're going to use our Payne's Gray in the smaller chamber. Did you want to caution them about having a, uh, a bucket to put the yes, split cup Yes, you in? should always have a bucket standing by so that you can wash your split cup right away. Ask her how she knows. <laughs> well, apparently after the last video the the wildflower bouquet one and you guys saw Baxter was cutting up all the time and it was very cold and it was kind of late and I was kind of tired so I forgot to wash my split cups so now my two big beautiful split cups are soaking in my sink with some Dawn dish soap and I'm awaiting a scrubby brush to be able to hopefully clean them out <laughs> so yes I highly recommend you have a bucket standing by to clean your split cups with so I'm gonna put a little bit of gold in the center and I'm going to layer this with the white because I think that's going to be very striking against the obsidian. I don't want too much gold and I don't want too much white. So we split the difference and we layer them on top of each other. Okay. And then I am also putting white on this outer chamber here on the side. Again, because I want that contrast against the obsidian base coat. And then we're gonna use our Prussian blue in this last little space over here. You don't want your paint too thick when using a split cup, otherwise you'll never get it in the chamber. <laughs> okay, that's looking pretty good. All right, so now we're gonna put our base coat down first that out of the way. Let's just see if this needs any more water. No, sinking into itself pretty quickly. So that's probably what exactly what we want. All right, I'm just gonna pour some 
some of this in the center, and some on the edges. Is she screaming? So the last couple of times I've done this, I felt like I've put too much on there. And I really want to avoid that this time. So what I kind of want to do is I want to do one on this side. I don't know, maybe two, two layers or three layers on this corner. And then we're going to stretch it out from there. So, all right. Are you ready, husband of us? Hey, lass. <laughs> okay, I'm actually going to start off of the canvas just to get the paint flowing. And now here we go. Okay, and I'm going to do one more. And we're going to do one more. Okay. Doesn't look like much yet, does it? <laughs> but that is really pretty. And I love the contrast between the obsidian, like right in here with the white and the Prussian blue and then the blue quartz. Let's uh, tilt this out nice and slow. Walking it down a little bit. Stretching this out. Lot of paint on there so I might try something else as well but I like how this is going so far Okay, now options at this point, HOA. I was thinking of doing one on this side, but I don't know if I want to. I could just do another layer, like kind of over here, or I could do one on this corner, kind of going in and meeting from the other side. I don't really want to do anything else up here, though. You mean where you just did another one over that space? Over which space? Here? Yeah. I could do that. So another just cup? Add another. Oh, well, there's still paint left in here. So. so just do more down here? Yeah. All right. All right. Are you ready, darling? I am now. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. And I'm actually going to tilt it off that corner first. Kind of a lot 
right there, but that's okay. Because it covered up the corner nicely, just how I wanted. Get it lined up again. I'm gonna do that again. And kind of walk this one a little bit though. little bit too much paint over here so we can't take some of that off so we can open this all up There's too much negative space or no? No. Should I take more off, do you think? Can you get it to go more along that edge? More what? Along that edge. So it's more like a fan. That way. Take it this way more? Yeah, just that, that edge there. So where take it down? Go that way. Yeah. Will it straighten out or is it going to get weird? Mm -hmm. so it's going to get weird. Well, it's already weird in there, but that's okay. I do want to take one off. Well, the way the paint is there, so we're going off. But that's okay. I'm really liking what, what's happening in there. I love those pops of the Prussian blue coming through.
my skin. <laughs> So you want this coming this way more, is that what you're saying? Yeah. Well, <clears throat> looks like that's going to be pretty impossible to do, yeah? I know. No. Just moving the weight of the paint from here now, it's all about over here. So we'll see if we can't move this over a little bit. Kind of cool. There's some very pretty stuff happening in here. I love the the colors. That blue quartz is really really pretty against the Payne's gray and the obsidian and the Prussian. And I love the white in there. I like that there's not too much white, but it's definitely providing contrast, which is awesome. I do like these bits that are kind of going up and out. I wish there was a little bit more of that. I don't want to try to put any more paint on here though, because there's not a lot still moving very slowly at this point. Um, I would like to figure out how to not get so much gobbledygook in there and hopefully it'll happen. <laughs> now that the holidays are kind of almost over, I have a little bit more time to get back to painting as much as I want. So I think this is going really well, but I do like this. Um, all right, Joy, do you think I should try to stretch this part out a little bit more or do you think we're kind of done at this point? I don't even know if there's enough paint moving to be able to get that to happen. I don't know. You have a pretty good balance. I Stretch out a little more would, would be okay. Would be good, but yeah, it's, it's moving okay. Right the way here a little bit, which is fine. If we get a little bit more stretch right there, that would be good. Just a bit more. stretched out a lot, huh? Okay, cool. Hey, this is looking pretty cool. Let me torch this real fast and let's see if you can get through. There's some parts like this right here with that Prussian. It's really popping. It's amazing. I like all of these little sections. Really cool. So still not exactly what I was going for, but we're getting there. There's a progression here for sure. <laughs> um, yeah, I think maybe next time, instead of shorter zigzags, maybe longer ones. And that way I won't get as much stretching maybe. So we'll see. Work in progress though, you know, just understand and recognize that everything takes time and practice and We'll get there eventually, so and don't give up on your own work. Don't give up on your ideas that you have. Keep trying, keep going. And uh, I hope 2023 is a wonderful, wonderful year for all of you. Thank you so much for being with HOA and I here today. We really appreciate you. We'll see you real soon. Happy New Year.
So for you, it would go like that, probably, if that's the corner and this is the top. Almost like a wildflower reaching. That's one of the coolest things, watching the, the plants reach for the light. Mm -hmm. I love that. I actually turn mine, my cyclones, every once in a while so they stay growing straight up instead of leaning. <clears throat> okay, so this is a couple days later. It is not dry yet, <laughs> but it's getting there. You can see along the bottom edge here it is dry and that obsidian is this beautiful, shimmery, sparkly, dark graphite sort of color um I do like this piece I like what happened overall not crazy about all the squigglies but I do like some of these lines that are pointing upward actually gives a lot of movement and a lot of energy um, this one kind of reminds me of a dandelion <laughs> which I guess fits in with our wildflower theme um, I do like all these colors that blue quartz is gorgeous the obsidian I love of course the gold, uh, the Prussian blue, those pops of it, deeper in there, really cool stuff. So, of course, this has given me more ideas of how I wanna play with this technique a little bit more. Um, like I said in the video, I think maybe longer zigzags rather than short squat ones might work a little better and I will definitely play with that some more but this was fun and like I said you know this is all a learning experience of how we grow and how we learn and how we refine things so don't give up on something if you're thinking about it keep playing with it until it does what you want so because you learn something for every pour <laughs> thank you guys all so much for being here with us we wish you a very very happy new year I wish for you to have sunshine <laughs> and warm weather because it's freezing and very cold and rainy here and I'm missing my son but uh we love you guys a lot and i hope you have a wonderful year with good health and happiness and prosperity and lots of love and always light so have a wonderful new year's we'll see you real soon bye bye